Hi guys, it's Lana here. Welcome back to Lana Summer Summertime. Today, I am doing another reaction video. You guys seemed to really like my little reaction series where I reacted to a bunch of curly hair routines from celebrities, actors and singers, Zendaya, Tracy Ellis Ross, and I have just been waiting. I've been waiting. Turn it up! For another lovely celebrity to drop a curly hair routine for me to react to. And it just so happens that the lovely Amber Rose Gill, the winner of 2019 Summer Love Island, dropped a curly hair routine. She was the first solo winner of Love Island. She technically won with Greg, but he'd only been there like a week and everyone was voting for Amber. Like, I don't know who was voting for Greg. We were voting for Amber. We were rooting for Amber. I was rooting for you! So she ended up winning and now she's graced us with a curly hair routine that I have not watched yet, but I'm very excited to watch it. And I'm gonna be watching it with you guys. This series is purely meant for education and entertainment purposes. If you've been waiting like I have, then make sure you hit the thumbs up button and let me know in the comment section that you like this type of video. And without more further ado, let's start reviewing. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming back to watch this video. This is a highly, 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 highly requested, I think the most requested video. I get DMs on the daily about my hair. So the reason why it took us so long to do like a hair care video is because with my hair, with I feel like with people that have curly hair will like resonate and like relate to this. Like you just wing it, like there's no like, like you just, grab a scoop or you just do like 45 pumps and the next time you do 10 everything's different every time so right. i just totally wing my hair routine so i was really like looking to see like what my favorite products were what worked well with curly hair sometimes it goes wrong sometimes it goes right you can never tell really whether it's going to be the perfect hair day or an all right hair day or so i was really watching closely on like what my favorite products were like what my, what exactly i was doing with my routine because i was just going oh and it was done I wasn't really paying attention to the steps, so I started paying attention to the steps and I realised I do it about three different ways. There's three different ways that I like to do my hair. I'm going to show you how I wash it, um, deep conditioning and like three different... I know I said I was going to try really hard to not interrupt, but I just want to say really quickly that I really appreciate the way that she's taken so much care before posting this video. It's something she could have easily done really quickly. If somebody said, post your curly hair routine, she could have been like, fine, there you go. She's like actually paid attention to it. She's like looked in on herself and been like, wait a minute, what do I actually do? What products do I actually use more often? And I think that means this video is not sponsored either, which is really good, especially for people from Love Island are kind of known for doing a lot of sponsorships. And it's just really great that she's not doing one this time. I don't have any problem with Love Islanders doing sponsorships, obviously. I'm an influencer, I do sponsorships as well. Um, but it's just really nice that this one is not a sponsorship. And she's really, really thought about what she's gonna mention in this video. Using kind of style and things. So if you would like to see, hold on. Zooming on the kills. The hair that I've achieved right now. Continue watching and I forget what it is. Like, subscribe, comment. You <laughs> can just do the most. Just do everything. Comment, like it, what just do whatever you want. <laughs> but yeah, this is my curly hair routine method number one. So enjoy. Look at those curls, man. They're cute or whatever. Six and a half so hours. So I have just came fresh out the shower, washed my hair, brushed through my hair. I'll I'll do another video explaining what I do on wash day. So I didn't realize this wasn't gonna be a wash routine. It's very very common here on YouTube for there to be like the wash routine, which just involves the shower process, the shampoo, conditioner, and then the curly hair routine, which involves the styling products. So I'll just remember that for next time. Basically my hair has been drying on this for a couple of minutes. I like to leave it for a couple of minutes because I don't want it to be too wet when I come to put all my products in. I don't know why. I think that it just makes it dry easier. I tend to get more volume when I do that. So I just want to pause right there because Amber mentioned that when she comes to apply her styling products, she prefers for her hair to have been drying for a few minutes already because she just prefers the results after. This is something that I think is 
definitely different for everyone. Like me in particular, I think I'm more like Amber. Like I would prefer to have had my hair drying in a towel for just a minute or two minutes before I apply my styling products. But I know there are some people who like to apply styling products on soaking wet hair. I know some people prefer that and that's just gonna be personal preference for everybody fiber hair wrap turban and it just it instead of like normal towels make your hair really frizzy this like doesn't and i'm not sure why but it doesn't make your hair go frizzy so i use these on my hair all the time you can get a towel you can get you can get a towel or a wrap basically but i just like wrap because then it's just out of my way and i don't have to worry about it it's got a little button at the back so it's just pinned up I really like those wraps as well, by the way. You might have noticed I tend to use wraps more often than I use a microfiber towel. And that's because if I wanna do this wrapping method with the microfiber towel, I have to kind of twist my hair into it. And then I just don't really like what the twisting motion does to my hair inside. Whereas if I use like the hair wrap, like the hair turban, I can literally just bundle my hair into it and then just like turn it once and pin it back. So my hair isn't all twisted up inside. So what I'll do is I'll just take it down. Oh, still a little bit wet, which is good, but not too wet. I feel like I look like a wet dog. So the first thing I'll take is Cantu's leave-in, hold on, I know how to do this. Cantu's leave-in conditioner. I'm gonna get a big bit and just drag it. Everybody knows the struggle. When you're using a product that's under 10 pounds, that is your dime size amount like that is a dime size amount but if you're using a product that's over 10 pounds this is your dime size amount i don't actually know how much that cantu is i'm just guessing it's under 10 pounds because they usually are the cantu real i like to use quite a lot i think people always comment on how much product i use which i think they should mind their own business what i find with curly hair is that everyone is totally different so you've really just got to find what works for you i find that putting loads of product in just i don't know my hair can just take it but yeah so i'll just rah, rah. and she's completely right everybody's hair is different and different things work for everybody and i love cutting too but yeah it's kind of made it a little bit longer it's looking a little bit sleeker so yeah that's cantu's leave-in condition and repair cream one of my favorites that always goes in my hair so that is that and then i will do the other side get the same scoop i mean i don't do measurements like i literally just get a big handful and if it's not enough then i just add more and if it's too much well <laughs> exactly if it's too much well control <laughs> oh god See, this is what happens this is why normally i do this i haven't got any clothes on but yeah i've got about three methods that i use to do my hair and this is one of them but i will be doing like a series of like trial and error and i just because i just think it's really helpful i get so many messages from girls um just wanting to know what the hell i do with my hair but i like wing it so just i mean try a bunch of different products everyone's curls are totally different Right, so wet dog. So I'm gonna use Pantene's gold. Right, hold on. I, I know love I can do this series. I use that too. This hydrating oil is one of my favorite oils to use and I'm so happy that she's using it right now. I feel like it revives your curls, like when you use it on wet hair, dry hair, it can like revive heatless hairstyles. I'm sorry, I'm like going on about this product, but I love this product and I'm all out right now and I need to get some more. I love it. Can you see? you see my nails are horrible as well god <laughs> so what is it pantans she's so pretty <laughs> gold seaweed intense hydrating oil and then i'm just gonna do exactly the same so i'll take a bit of that and just do exactly the same and drag it right through everything i use smells so nice i always get compliments on how my hair smells and everybody always asks if i have my hair cut i really haven't had my hair cut so basically what has happened is i um went like before i went on um love island i never i never really used to do photo shoots so if i did i'd do my own hair kind of thing and then when i went on that show i was there for about two months i'm supposing that the heat there wouldn't have probably did the world of good for my hair but also when i came out i was doing all sorts of photo shoots like 
um, all different kinds of like just events and stuff and obviously I hadn't been in the industry before so I didn't really know anyone that did curly hair. Sometimes I was forced into using the hairdresser that the whatever I was doing whatever company I was using or whatever had provided and at the time I was like yeah yeah that's cool like whatever like I was just quite easy going because I didn't really know that well so my hair was super long I'll try and get a before picture and after picture so my hair was super long and then I just started breaking because I was just using a bunch of people that didn't know how to do my hair so if that's one thing that I can say is so important for anyone that's trying to be an influencer or trying to be a model or like does love island and does well from it if you've got curly hair be really strict on who you use so i have two people now two hairdressers two women that just know my hair and i've got dion and michelle to be honest either or either i'll use either of them if one of them's booked i'll use the other one they just know how to deal with afro black hair properly and it's really important because i was finding a lot of people were just getting a one of those micro tongs and just tonguing all the bits that were frizzy which isn't good and i've just had so much breakage that it's really short now but luckily i found some better hairdressers and i'm on the road to recovery it's longer now but then i see people in my post on my post in my comments being like i shot a haircut don't cut your hair and i'm like just rub salt in the wound like i know it's short and it's not my fault and i'm gutted about it but it, it is, is what it is really so after i'm just gonna pause it right there because I'm so happy that she spoke about that just now. I feel like there must be so many people going through the same thing in that kind of industry that have a lot of reach and a lot of influence that maybe aren't talking about it. So I'm so happy that she's spoken about it just now. I've actually faced the exact same thing. I've turned up to shoots where they just don't have a black hairstylist or, you know, the, the other hairstylist that's there actually doesn't know how to do black hair and admits they don't know how to do black hair. So just leaves me to do it by myself. Like one, isn't that kind of unfair that I'm like the only model that has to do my own hair and makeup, some, sometimes makeup makeup as well and two you've just deprived a black hairstylist of a job like hire black hairstylists thank you amber for raising that issue the hair oil sometimes i'll just take the dumb and brush and just no i'm just gonna do it just to show you just brush through that is sort of that and you know what like with so she did just pull out the denman brush and you guys know if you've been on my channel before or recently i was a huge fan of the denman brush when i first got one and i do use it quite frequently but if you've seen my recent videos then you'll know that i'm starting to like be like because usually when people are using the Denman brush it's with a certain technique it's to get like the most definition that you can possibly get and I just feel like it just causes more tangles which is worse in the long run so the way that Amber did it wasn't the same technique so it wasn't like that definition technique so I don't know if that's what she was going for or not but the way that she did it I think is probably going to be fine for tangles and that kind of thing I don't think it's going to cause her any tangles it looks like she just literally just brushed it through so yeah it is what it is I think she did it however she wanted to do it and that's good out of that and you know what like with this routine it's like kind of winging it like you don't really have to do it. it's not like a strict set routine you have to do anything <laughs> she's so different to me though she's like you're just winging it there's no strict routine and then there's me I'm like 10 step curl routine this is how you do it I'm so strict with myself we are two very different people <laughs> There's this funny meme where it's like, to get my curls perfect, the position of the sun has to, has to be at like a 45 degree angle, it has to be a full moon, I have to drink two litres of water or whatever, I don't know, I don't know what else is really funny, I'll try to put that there as well, but I was like, wow, that's so relatable. Just a little bit more. You probably don't need as much as what I use, but I'm just extra. If you haven't learned already, go back and watch my other videos, I'm super extra about everything, so you shouldn't be shocked. Okay, so I'm going to get two different types of gel. Well, this isn't really a gel. This is Cantu's Define and Shine Custard. So I'm gonna get, I'll show you, a nice little sprinkle. I don't know, I don't know what word to use. And just sort of, hold on, I really need you to see this because it's different. So not drag it through, we don't drag this bit through. Like, do that, what do you call it? I don't know what you would call that. It's like a lift and squeeze motion. The lift and squeeze. <laughs> She's basically scrunching that product through her hair. And I have seen a lot of people doing this and I'm not sure how it works for other people, 
But for me, I prefer my usual method. One of my latest videos, I followed a viral TikTok video which was showing you how to do a curly hair routine and they did a similar thing. So they applied their leave-in conditioning products and brushed those through. And then when it came to the curl gel, they did like what Amber has done, where they just scrunch the gel and the curl custard, like your curl defining product. They just scrunch that into the hair rather than brushing it through. I tried it for myself and I found that what happened was that I just had a lot of product concentrated on the ends just because of that scrunching method and there wasn't really a lot up here and it was kind of an uneven spread. I just felt like I just didn't like it as much. So I will keep just brushing all of my products through just evenly or trying as hard as I can. Sometimes I put less effort into it, but I will always try to evenly distribute my products and brush them through rather than only brushing through the moisturizing products and then scrunching in the defining products, if that makes sense. I'm sorry, I'm like so wordy, like, yeah. That's what I do, that's what I do. That's not what Amber does. Just squeeze it through. Lovely. Okay, but she did it different to me because when I did it, I went like this, but she's actually like getting in and doing that. So I guess that makes sense why mine didn't turn out very well. This is Bounce Girls Light Cream Gel with aloe vera in Nigella. I don't know. But anyways, I got this from a company called Heritage Care. She has introduced me to some amazing products. I've just ran out of this so I'm using a new bottle. This is one of my favourites. This is a proper gel and I just, I don't actually get that much because I think it's precious. Not that the other products aren't precious but... <laughs> you see what I mean? Some products it's just like whack it on but the precious products, the precious products, you have to use the dime size amount for the precious ones. I'm loving these terms that she's coming out with. Okay. Definitely. I'm going to be freely at the back. Don't neglect the back, that's my trouble. I mess with like the back, it looks like a bird's nest, but the back and the rest of it is all blowy and ringlety, and then the back's like all raggedy. Look at those moisturized curls. Oh, so those moisturized curls. I've moved a little bit further back because I'm using this. So I'm gonna do a little review on this Dyson hair dryer. I know it's a little bit expensive, but I've used it. I mean, like, how, how long ago did I? I didn't get sent it that long ago, to be fair, but. When I use it, I absolutely love it. That I absolutely love it. And I think she's with my off. hair especially, I find that a lot of things are an investment. Like I have to invest in things like that work really well, like products that work really well, like deep conditioning treatments that work really well. So this especially, because I'm so traumatized off all of the heat damage that I went through and all the breakage that I went through, I would advise this is a really good investment, like a Christmas present or a birthday present for any so yeah what she said about having to make investments that's real like whoever it was that said like your girl's natural because she can't afford to not be like they were tripping because it's expensive to have natural hair the products are expensive the tools are expensive it's a whole hobby it takes time it takes dedication i have the dyson it low-key did change my life because it changed my hair drying game. I no longer have to spend all day with wet hair. So yeah, it kind of like, I mean, I don't want to toot Dice's horn, but it low key was a bit life changing. And I hate saying that because it is so expensive. So I always try to say that, you know, you can get similar results with a cheaper hair dryer and you don't need to spend all that money because you don't need to spend all that money. But it is a life changing product. <laughs> A 20, 30 pound hair dryer could probably do you something really similar. It's all about the technique and how you use it. So yeah, don't feel disheartened if you can't afford these expensive products. Red girls. So I, I put the, I changed it. I have to drop something in every YouTube video. Don't I? I changed it from the normal hair to the diffuser hair because obviously we love a diffuse. I do love to air dry, but I can't, you, you just can't air dry. In, London like I normally air dry when I'm like on holiday or if it's really hot and I haven't got anything planned I like to air dry but I don't have that luxury so this is the second best option it's true London air drying England air drying cold weather air drying it's just not fun <laughs> it's really not fun it takes hours it's cold and it's raining outside you just don't want it 
So I don't know how I'm going to do this. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around my hair and just kind of set the gel, the bounce girl gel and the custard from Cantu that I used and just set that. So when that's set, I'm going to go in at the root and just kind of massage my roots a little bit. And then I will do that thing that you see everyone do, which I'm like not like, oh, you see the diffuser, you, you do that. Like that doesn't really do it for me. Do you know, I feel like she has seen that viral TikTok video with the curly hair routine because she's using almost exactly the same terminology. What did they say? In that video, they said something like, um, go around, set the gel, and then after that, go in and do the thing that you've seen every curly girl do, where you go like this. Like, they said almost exactly the same thing as what she has said, which is interesting. Sometimes I feel like it makes my hair shorter than what it really is, which I don't need any of, because my hair doesn't need to be any shorter than what it is. It's depressing enough how short it is at the minute anyway okay it's just so short and there's no blonde in it because i didn't want to get blonde in it because that damages it a little bit more and i didn't want any breakage or anything so i'm just kind of and i agree with that as well i personally don't like that method of going in and doing this either i think it's great if you want some extra volume and you don't mind about shrinkage but if you don't want shrinkage then don't do it because that's what it's going to do. Yeah, I'll give you a little run through. So this is the on and off button but there's a cool mode so I'm kind of hopsy hopsy like a lot of people say to use cool mode for curly. Sometimes if I haven't got a lot of time I will use a little bit of heat. Not great but it is what it is really and then you press these buttons here that's for the power like how hard how powerful it is. This is the heat so I like to keep it on medium or low. <laughs> I find that sometimes when the clump they color that, that like doesn't help. Her hair's not dry yet and she's touching it so much. So I just had to pause the video, take a breather. It's okay. It's all right. Right, I'm gonna just take a little bit of Diva <gasps> Curl, the Super Cream Coconut Curl Styler. Sorry, I forgot that telling you what the freaking products are and not just being like oh I'm just using deep curl now touch it okay I'll clean it on drag it through here because it's just getting a little bit brisk I kind of flip my hair over and this is this is what gives it like more volume because if you can see now like to be honest I like it like this but I know that people are going to be like you know we have it way bigger than this I just do whatever I fancy on the day and the day I'm quite like in this sort of not too full but I'm going to show you anyway just for the purposes of the video because it's not about me it's about you <laughs> right so I want to flip Concentrate, girl. Um, I'm gonna flip my head over and I'm gonna diffuse it underneath, which just gives it a bit more zoom. I don't know why I like to flick it over. I think it's just cre I'm a creature of habit. I'm just gonna drag a little bit of the curl cream through, and then because it's such a lovely day outside, I'm probably gonna go for a walk and let it just sort of soak in itself kind of thing what i would normally do in the winter will it what is it now is it spring so what i would normally do in the winter is like completely dry it dry it dry it to the bone but because it's still sunny and i love air drying i've kind of left it like a touch like not much like literally the slightest bit wet but not like not so i'm gonna catch a cold because that's what everyone says so you want me hair when you catch a cold never catch a cold to this day from what having my hair wet but anyway so during spring i would leave it like slightly wet or just when i think that it's hot outside i think it's like 20 degrees or something outside now. i'm checking what, what temperature abitha is just want to go london and abitha are actually the same temperature right now both 23 degrees so yeah it's like really hot outside so i just because i love air drying so much i will just leave it air dry but this is like medium volume like it's not full and these are not dry curls you know what i hate when people say oh my god amma's curls are dry that's not dry those are not dry curls right say it louder for the people in the back it's so true like i feel like everybody wants to come along and have an opinion about your hair like oh your hair looks kind of dry like you can't see anything from over there where you're sitting like you can't tell if it's dry or not like pipe down this is not what a dry curl looks like and also i actually quite like the frizzy look like i know people are like oh my god my hair's dry it looks so frizzy like 
I like it looking like that. I don't know why, but I just feel like this sometimes the ringly is a bit too like ringly, like too much Irish dancery for me. Like, and I don't want it to look like that. I like it when it's a bit. I can like whip it around and that. Like, I quite like that. Okay, so that's the end of Amber's curly hair routine. I really love the way throughout the video she made it clear that everyone can do whatever they want, and everyone's hair is different, and people like different things. I think that's really the key message of the video. That's how she does it. That's how she does it. I don't even really feel like I can give any pointers or ways to help because she already said that that's how she likes it and she looks beautiful with it so what can I even say there's just a few things that I would do differently if it were me so if you guys care about that at all then I'll let you know but for me I like that kind of Irish dancer look as she called it like I like to have more ringlets and that's just down to more definition so I like to actually apply all of my curl defining products all of the way through and brush them through so that they're evenly applied I also use the, the Dyson in the same way that she uses it so I use it on the low heat and the low speed but I actually tip my head over from the start and I dry the roots of my hair first and I don't really touch my hair at all like I don't really play with it or do anything with it until it's completely dry because I don't want to create more frizz but that's just me everybody's different if anybody wants me to talk about the products that she used from what I can remember she was using Cantu, Diva Curl and Bounce Curl I've never used Bounce Curl Diva Curl I think we all know from the scandal I haven't been keeping up with it I don't really know what's going on with the scandal at the moment and then Cantu she used a lot of Cantu products I love them as well only it's like a quick fix when I use the Cantu curl defining lotion I love it to revive my curls I love it as what I take to a sleepover if I'm staying out or if I'm going on holiday I'll use it then but I don't like to use it all the time day in day out for a year long because I feel oh let me, let me take that out I don't like to use it day in day out every day for an entire year because I feel like ultimately it does start drying my hair out it's not a curly girl friendly method product it does have like a few nasty ingredients in there so yeah I just don't really like the Cantu products because I do feel like in the long run they're not very good for my hair that's just in case anybody wanted my opinion on those if you want to see more videos like this one then tell me in the comment section also like this video if you liked it share it if you found it helpful also subscribe to my channel and turn your notifications so you don't miss anything more from me last thing make sure you get me on instagram for all of the blessings and the breakdowns and i'll see you guys in the next video bye yeah.